here one one more concept in mosfet amplifiers it is called active load in mosfet amplifiers now remember in amplifiers load can be of two types there are two types of load in amplifier we call it a uh, passive load and active load amplifiers can have or uh, two types of load we call it passive load and active load passive load and active load when i say passive load i mean some resistor can be used as a load passive device resistor is a passive element right if i connect a resistor as a load or it can be a parallel combination of inductor capacitor also if you connect a resistor as a load or maybe a parallel combination of inductor capacitor as a load that will be called passive load because resistor inductor capacitor they all come under passive devices so for passive load example can be resistor i can use a resistor as a load fine or we can connect a parallel combination of inductor and capacitor as a load so if you make an amplifier with this type of load it will be called passive load passive load then on the other side we also have active load in case of active load we will be using some mosfet as a load i can connect mosfet as a load or i can connect some mosfet uh, current mirror as a load mosfets come under active devices so if i am connecting mosfet as a load or mosfet current mirror as a load that will be called active load so here you can write example a mosfet or a mosfet current mirror a mosfet current mirror is connected as load is connected as load and remember mosfets they come under active devices so this type of load will be called active load and this concept of active load it will be used mainly in integrated circuits when we make amplifiers in ic's there we use this active loads because active loads require a uh, less chip area and there is another benefit uh, for example if i am using mosfet current mirror as a load then i can achieve a high voltage gain so there are certain advantages of active load they require less chip area and if i am using mosfet current mirror as a load it will give me high voltage gain and this active loads will operate with a smaller supply voltages we don't need to provide high supply voltage that is another benefit of active load they work with smaller supply voltages also and if we take here one example for this uh, active load it can be a mosfet in which you know drain shorted to gate this type of mosfet can be used as a load a mosfet having drain and gate shorted this is an example for active load drain and gate are shorted here now when we come across this type of mosfet connected as a load then this mosfet will be replaced by some equivalent resistance this type of mosfet it will be replaced by some equivalent resistance that r equivalent it is nothing but small signal resistance between drain and source this r equivalent is a small signal resistance observed between drain and source and whenever we get a question on mosfet amplifier in which this type of mosfet shown as a load so it should be quickly replaced by this r equivalent and we will calculate this r equivalent by replacing mosfet with a small signal model so let me tell you how to uh, replace mosfet with a small signal model and how to calculate r equivalent to find this r equivalent i will be using this type of small signal model mosfet will be replaced by its small signal model in this small signal model we show uh, a dependent current source gm vgs in parallel to rds okay 
and uh, because drain and gate are shorted in this circuit also we will be shorting drain and gate let me short drain and gate drain shorted to gate we are finding here r equivalent for a mosfet in which drain and gate are shorted so i have shorted here drain and gate then we will find out resistance between drain and source that r equivalent is resistance between drain and source so between drain and source i will apply here some test voltage whenever we want to know resistance between two terminals we should apply a test voltage so i have applied here a test voltage vx between drain and source and then we will find out vx divided by ix that vx upon ix will give you r equivalent let me write here r equivalent is equal to vx divided by ix now what you can observe here is drain and gate they are shorted now because drain and gate are shorted that gate voltage will become same as drain voltage so i can say vgs is equal to vx drain and gate they are shorted so gate voltage and drain voltage they will become equal so in that way vgs and vx will become equal if vgs becomes equal to vx then gm vgs can be written as gm into vx gm into vx and then this uh, resistor rds current in this rds can be shown as uh, vx divided by rds that rds can be called r not also it is a dynamic drain resistance or output resistance we can call it r not also so current in that element it will be vx divided by rds and what will be current in this path in this path you can show current as zero because that current has to enter gate now between gate and source we have an open circuit so gate current will be zero in a mosfet gate current is zero or you can say there is an open circuit here so current in this path has to be zero that i equal to zero and then to find this vx by ix i will be using kcl at this drain terminal let me apply kcl at the drain kcl at drain we get ix equal to gm into vx plus vx divided by rds plus that current i it is zero i have used kcl at the drain terminal ix equal to gm vx plus vx upon rds plus zero and then this you should rearrange and get vx by ix agar aap is equation ko rearrange karenge you will get vx upon ix and that ratio it will be called r equivalent it can be written in this way 1 divided by gm plus 1 upon rds or we can write it in this way also r equivalent is equal to 1 divided by 1 upon 1 by gm plus 1 divided by rds and now you observe this just looks like a parallel combination of two resistances okay we have an expression here uh, which is in the form some r is equal to 1 divided by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 it will be taken as parallel combination of r1 and r2 so in that way i will say r equivalent is equal to 1 by gm in parallel to rds so remember when you come across a mosfet in which drain and gate are shorted then that mosfet will give you uh, this much equivalent resistance 1 by gm in parallel to rds so when we analyze such amplifier in that analysis we have to replace mosfet with uh, this equivalent resistance okay and we can make it further simple also if the question says channel length modulation negligible lambda equal to 0 if lambda equal to 0 then this rds will become infinite if the question says uh, channel length modulation negligible that means lambda equal to 0 then we can take rds parameter as infinite 
and in that case r equivalent it will become 1 divided by gm and this is an important uh, concept with respect to gate paper whenever you come across an amplifier with uh, a mosfet having drain and gate shorted then in small signal ac analysis such mosfet should be replaced by this uh, equivalent resistance and i will show you one example how we can connect this type of mosfet as a load this is an amplifier this is an amplifier in which i have connected uh, two mosfets for m1 input is given at the gate and output taken from drain and source grounded so m1 can be considered as a common source amplifier here m1 is a common source amplifier input humne apply kiya hai at the gate terminal output taken from drain right and source grounded so is tarah ke amplifier ko hum kahenge common source amplifier and in this amplifier you will observe another mosfet there is a p channel mosfet m2 also present and just observe for m2 source terminal is connected to vdd the upper terminal is source connected to vdd and that drain shorted to gate drain is shorted to gate so here m2 is a mosfet in which drain and gate are shorted and this m2 will act like a load for this m1 okay m2 it's a load load for m1 and because drain and gate shorted m2 can be replaced by some r equivalent in our analysis m2 ko hum replace karenge with r equivalent and that will be 1 upon gm2 in parallel to rds2 so if you know this replacement you can save some time in the exam and then it will become something like this you have a load which is equal to r equivalent i am keeping m1 as it is m2 ko humne replace kiya hai with r equivalent and in our ac analysis the vdd node it will be grounded in ac analysis vdd node will be grounded so this will get grounded and this is r equivalent which will act like a load r equivalent that 1 by gm2 in parallel to rds2 and now you can easily tell what will be voltage gain of this amplifier it is a common source amplifier so jab aap iske liye voltage gain likhenge uh, by replacing m1 with small signal model if you calculate voltage gain wo is tarah se hogi if you write gain v0 upon vi it will be minus gm1 into uh, rds1 in parallel to this r equivalent okay it it comes in this form you have to replace m1 also with a small signal model in this way i will quickly show that m1 ko bhi hum yahan par small signal model se replace kar lenge like this this is a small signal model drawn for m1 gm1 into vgs and that is in parallel to rds1 and we can show other connections quickly voltage between gate and source that we call vgs here gate se ground ke beech mein we can show vi this is vi and between drain and ground you will have r equivalent r equivalent and this is the output voltage and from here we can tell v0 upon vi that vi same as vgs and when you want to write v0 it will be minus gm1 into vgs and that multiplied with this parallel combination okay when you write v0 it will be minus gm1 vgs into this parallel combination fine and that divided by vi so when you find that gain it will come out in this form so finally hum ye keh sakte hain ki in this amplifier voltage gain will be minus gm1 into rds1 in parallel to r equivalent r equivalent is 1 by gm2 in parallel to rds2 so this becomes the voltage gain in this particular amplifier it's an important topic with respect to gate paper